In this video, we're going to begin looking at Venn diagrams. Venn diagrams are a visual representation of sets. So in this slide, um, you can see that we have a rectangle. Um, that is the universal set. That's what we use to represent the universal set. And then inside the universal set, we have two subsets, A and B. Those are the subsets. What we're going to do is we're going to take the elements of these subsets or of these sets and we're going to place them in the proper place within the Venn diagram. So what we're going to do is go through each one of the items in the universal set, each one of the elements, and we're going to figure out where it belongs within the universal set. Does it belong out here? Does it belong in set A and set A only? Does it belong in the intersection of A and B, or does it belong in set B only? So let's start with element A. Notice that A is only in subset B. And so what that means is we're going to take that element and we're going to place it, oops, excuse me, pen, we're going to place that element A in the set that is set B only. Notice we're not putting it in the intersection, we're putting it in the circle that is B, but that does not overlap with set A. Next, let's look at element B. Notice that element B is in subset A and subset A only. And so element B, did it again, element B belongs there. When we move on to element C, notice that C is in both A and B. C is in both A and B, which means that the element C belongs in the intersection of set A and set B. All right, moving on to element D. Moving on to element D. The only place we see element D is in the universal set. It is not in subset A or B. So in this case, that means that element D belongs outside of the subsets A and B, but still within the universal set. This is also true for element E. E is not found in either one of the subsets. So again, we will place E outside of the subsets A and B. Looking at element F, F is in A and A only. So following what we've done, we'll put F in subset A and A only. And then we can look at um, elements G and H. And I notice that G and H are both in set A and set B. They are in the intersection of A and B. And so G and H belong there in the intersection. And now we have placed the elements in their appropriate places within the Venn diagram. Now, we don't have to limit ourselves to two subsets. In this example, I have three different subsets of a universal set U. Notice I've expanded U a little bit to include a few more letters. Um, so let's go ahead and start by labeling our subsets A, B, and C. And it doesn't matter, honestly, which one is which. I'm just going to work in that order right there. Okay. And then we're going to go through again and place our elements where they belong in each one of the sets. And I'm just going to go in alphabetical order A through K. So again, as I start with element A, I notice that A is only in subset B only in subset B. And so my element A belongs only in um, B and not in any of the overlap with A or C. Moving on to element B, I notice that B is in both subset A and C, but it's not in B. And so I'm going to place element B in the overlap of A and C 
but not in the overlap that is also with B. Okay, so A and C overlap right here, but I don't want B in this part because it's not in subset B, so I place it just in this portion. All right, when it comes to element C, I notice that C is in all three subsets, and so C belongs right there in the middle, the overlap of all three. Moving on to element D, I notice that element D is in set A, or subset A and subset B, but not in subset C. And so again, it's in subset A, which is here, subset B, which is here, but not in subset C. So I need to place my element D in this region right there. Okay. Now looking at element E, I notice that element E is in set subsets E, or sorry, B and C. B and C. And only B and C. So element E belongs there. Then I move on to element F. And I notice that element F is not in any of the subsets A, B, or C. That means that F belongs outside in the universal set. I also just noticed I forgot to label the universal set. So I'll go ahead and label that now. Um, similarly, element G is not in any of the subsets. And so element G belongs outside of that universal set as well. I'm going to write over that and make it yellow to match. Um, element H, element H, when I look at that one, I notice that H is only in subset B. It is not shared with any of the others, and so H will go out there. I is only in subset C, so I'll put the I there. J, we have another shared element. J is in both subsets B and C, B and C. So I'm going to stick that J in there with the E. And then last but not least, we have element K, which is in subset A and subset A alone. And so that is how we would place the elements in this particular Venn diagram. One of the things that I do want to take a minute to point out is that when it comes to our sets here, our subsets, notice that set A is this entire circle. When I highlight that, notice that B, C, D, and K are all in that subset A. B, C, D, and K all fall inside that circle. When I highlight set B, which is all of this over here, again, Notice that the elements A, C, D, E, H, and J are all in subset B. But also notice that here in this region, C and D, that is where A and B in the diagram overlap. B and D, or sorry, items B and C, or D and C, sorry, my fault, items D and C, elements D and C, are the only two that are shared between those two subsets, and that is why they fall in this overlapping region. And then finally, if I highlight or shade subset C, notice what I included in the coloring there are elements B, C, E, I, J which are the elements in set C. So as you go through this, um, whenever you look at where, it's posi where an element is positioned within the Venn diagram, you do need to look for where um, there's overlapping regions because that tells you that those elements are in the intersection of those subsets.